I'm Nick Segemis, uh, coming from Greece. I am a professor in the Agricultural University of Athens. I have also created a spin-off company named Geomations. Uh, that was uh, established to uh, exploit uh, research results from EU projects. I have coordinated a number of uh, EU projects and the latest one was the... Uh, I participated in a flow aid project that was uh, coordinated by Jos Ballendock of uh, Wageningen. I know that EU is trying a long time ago to bring up uh, the policies uh, together with uh, the research projects and uh, to develop a, a strong uh, activity on, on policies uh, to support the outcome of research projects. And uh, I very much um, support that idea because uh, the outcome of research projects uh, must come to uh, a commercial use. Uh, I am very much uh, prone to that uh, because uh, research is an investment and we owe to give products to society. So somehow research results must come to the society because we must pay off uh, the investment. And um, personally, uh, every project that I have coordinated, I am trying to bring into uh, to the very end, to commercialize the, the projects. We must find some kind of support for the researchers how to commercialize their products. And uh, this is not only uh, policies, but it's all of also politics. I would like to suggest to EU and uh, uh, European uh, DG for Environment and Research is that uh, uh, from every call budget, they should keep a small part for, um, for what I call um, immediate actions. I mean, every final report should be evaluated and if the coordinator is asking for an immediate follow-up, they should have a, an expert team to uh, evaluate uh, and also to, uh, if it is valued, then they should support it to go to uh, immediately uh, commercialization. Because if we are waiting for a demo project or another kind of research for SMEs projects, then uh, the, the idea may get lost because uh, it goes through regular procedures and uh, uh, probably is not the best way to, to, to go about. Uh, well, my, my suggestion is that uh, every call should have uh, reserved a small budget for uh, immediate follow-ups of innovative results. This will have also a strong, strong uh, expert teams to, to evaluate the ideas, of course, and if it is valued, then they should go for it. I realize that there is some kind of uh, difficulty between uh, academia and industry. Long time ago, there has been efforts in countries and in Europe to combine those two together, but uh, the effort uh, has been more than the success. So we have to find some solution. And uh, of course, it is the attitude. Uh, if you go to the United States, there's no problem there. So we have to change the attitude. If we need, uh, let's say, uh, to create wealth, if we need jobs, then who is going to provide the job? Is it uh, the government? Uh, that is finished. Uh, it is the industry. So we must work together to create jobs. We cannot uh, consider um, the industry as a, an opposition to the university and so on, because university is training people to go to industry and work there, right? So we have to combine those two and uh, actually they should work together rather than being so separate. So we have to change the attitude in most countries at least.